Well, I just love being able to teach from a Christian biblical worldview because it informs everything we do. And especially in the early childhood, um, it just is the lens with which everything happens in our classroom. Because we're a covenant school, I feel not just um, the desire to teach from a biblical perspective, but I also feel it a healthy obligation because we're partnering with families that are covenant families and they've chosen us on purpose. As a teacher and a Christian and an artist, uh, I love the fact that I can bring it all together in a way that um, reflects what I believe, but also hopefully give the children a space where they can reflect on who they are in relation to God and who they are as creative beings. So, so I, one of the, one of my favorite things about Central Christian School and why I think it's so unique is that we have the ability to truly partner with parents. That partnership piece is just really unique and um, so special about our school. And I not only get to see it from a teacher's perspective, but I see it from a parent's role too. And I feel, as a parent, I feel supported by the teachers and I feel like they are on the same page with their faith and with their ideals of how they would be instructing and guiding my children. And so it just feels so good every day to know that that's what they're they're getting the same thing at school from their teachers as what they would be getting from me at home. There's like this whole child experience where depending on the specials they're in or what they're learning in their homeroom, um, as teachers and staff, because we have that unified foundation of belief, we, we can reinforce it in different ways. And that really feeds the child. I, I'm thinking of this beautiful garden and just all the different flowers and, and one does the watering, another will do the, the, the plowing and, and we just all have different roles, but it's all in the same um, foundation and, and groundwork of the Bible and our Christian faith. Our families are so different, yet they all have this common bond of wanting their children to be raised and taught in a school where we can freely speak about Jesus and about, you know, the world and education from a Christian perspective. And it's just not, it's about Jesus, but it's also about excellence, in my opinion. It's about providing, about knowing that children are excellent learners, even at the age of three and four, God created them to be learners. Well, my heart's desire for all of my JK students is that they would see their need for Jesus and that they would understand the sacrifice that he made for them. And um, I think one of the things that we, I pray every morning in our morning prayer time is just that throughout the day that God would help us to know him better throughout the day, whatever that may be, however that looks. Lord, just show more of yourself to us today. And um, and so I just think, you know, it's such a privilege getting to be able to teach Jesus to our JK friends. And so I just pray that they will know that they need him and that they will see him as their friend and that they will lean on him in all things. My heart's desire for them is that they can feel so safe and so comfortable in the environment that they're in each day, not just in my class, but moving up from grade to grade, that they can actually completely be themselves. Because I think that when they feel so comfortable being themselves, they'll do the hard work of taking risks and trying new things and exploring and discovering in areas where they can not have to feel like there are boundaries on them, but safe limits, limits that allow them to really go to their greatest potential. When they feel like they don't have boundaries on their learning, that's when they'll become the best they can be, who God created them. To be.